Hello, everyone. It is May 10th, 2019. And I've got something that's just uh, pretty cool. So where we left off with the Matrix ripping apart. <laughs> I believe I think I have an explanation and some very cool video uh, theories to show you that's pretty cool. <laughs> very cool. And what do you think it is that we're looking at? Well, let's... In case you missed the last video, let me touch on a couple of highlights. A rip in the Matrix was captured by Sinister State via Blue Kool-Aid. Oh yeah, the start of the rip showing it. The rip in the Matrix. What do you think that is, folks? <laughs> because this rip is getting wider and wider. And what is happening I believe I have a pretty good explanation of what's happening. And here is the next couple video uh, pictures. And I'm just kind of recapping because what you're going to see next, it's getting more insane. And I have, I believe I found the answer to this a long time ago. And I just sat on this because it was just pretty mind blowing. And some other mind blowing videos from some and pictures from other subscribers. <laughs> so let's show you some of the rips in the matrix that we covered in the last video so that you're on, so that you know what we're talking about. So let's go to show you some of this interesting pictures we have in the sky because some people say it's some kind of a laser and I think you're very close to the answer on that some people think it's some kind of a double rip in the matrix but that's not quite what we're seeing curved lines in the sky that may explain the strange clouds and the magnetic interference but this was a coherent light experiment with matching waves of light. We'll talk about that a little later. The Some of the other rips that we saw was this massive shadow that we see. We see this recurring. This one's coming from the sun. Notice the beam of shadow is like get, starting narrow and gets wider and wider. I myself had captured some. So just let me scan through some of the videos because when you see... This one here, especially by Stephanie, half the sky is light and half the sky is dark. Okay, now just keep that in your in your head. And now let's look at eh, see if it got capture. Let's see, that was uh. Here we see the sky is right side is vertical, just a different angle that we're seeing these li vertical lines. All other ones here. Here we show in, uh, the uh, interesting sun halo in this rip in the matrix. Notice it starts narrow and gets broader and broader as it goes towards there. And there is your typical lens flare from the camera. But then there's our interesting halo as well. Huh. Right. And Phil Hartman had shown this one multiple breaks and lines that the chemtrails are hiding these shadows in the matrix. Used to people think they were created by the chemtrails. Notice the dark halo in the distance in the pattern that we have. Notice the chemtrails that are going from almost a singular point and basically span outward in a very equal distance. Like coming from a singular point down here. Had some amazing shots. So let's watch a video clip. So we can watch this on more Google News. <laughs> Look at this part right here. <laughs> okay. What in the hell makes a spiral like... Not sure what we meant by spiral, but we do see the shadow is narrow here and gradually perfectly like a laser getting wider and wider. In fact, she says something like a laser. Look at it. It's almost you can see a different color blue. It's all, there's clouds and there's not clouds. Mm -hmm. It's not, it 
it's, 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 I mean, it's, a, I got polarized sunglasses on. <laughs> right. Hey, look at this one. Okay. And this sunglasses is getting on. Better. Oh, no, I don't. I took them off. I have my, uh. This was yesterday in Nevada. And now on the same day in Las Wages, I mean, Las Vegas, Nevada. Look at this. Um, bifocals on. And that blue. But. <laughs> right, a flash of light. Now, we've seen these before, but that's just way too straight. That's not even plasma, folks. Directed energy weapon, uh, you're on a similar track. But that. Wow. Um, what we have here is a stage in the sky, folks. Now that you saw that, let me show you. Shows basically how a TV is made. You know what? Let me... In case people aren't too familiar how a TV is made, let me show you a quick... Uh, a little video real short video on how a tv has kind of made them works i'm going to keep it real short i'm not going to so we really have basically a crt tube okay and in a crt tube we have a electron beam that scans back and forth in front of the inside of a vacuum tube on the inner surface of this crt tube is we have a phosphorus that lights up when hit with an electron beam and gives us a display on the other side. Okay, so it scans back and forth. That's kind of like the mechanics behind this and forms this image. Now the viewer is on the other side of this. Now what I'm proposing to you is our sky with our hazy white chemtrail is basically like this the surface of this TV, but we are on the Earth, and this is a satellite laser. Okay, you tracking with me? Watch this. How much validity do I have in that? Oh, this is the slow-mo, guys. You guys see something on this TV set? The reason why the TV looks like that is because the refresh rate of the camera filming the TV gives us this image. Now, if we take a fast rate film catching the frame per second, <laughs> look at that. Just like our sky, the scan rate, if you slow it down, it starts to get dark. I'm telling you, folks, our skies are being scanned like that laser beam. Look what comes up next as he messes with the recording rate frames per second that it sees the TV. As it gets faster, as it slows it down more and more, we can begin to see that beam. Look at the Dr. Mario scene. Just go get your iPhone and replay Dr. Mario on an old TV set, and you're going to see those big vertical lines. See that, folks? Does that... I, I hope to click a bell here. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Okay. Look at that. Compare it against this. You see that? So here we got this half scanned light source here, a dark spot. What would cause it to be dark like that? And again, we have this black line. Let me play part of the video. We've seen these black lines from our scanned out sky. And another explanation for that beam that we saw later. Oh, we're going to get to that next. Look how the chemtrail is trying to hide where the laser are, aren't hitting this dark spot in the sky because that's the true color of the sky. They're making it lighter than it really is. So what do you think, folks? Think our skies are being scanned? I do. It's exactly what we're seeing. Of course, this is like a vertical scan, but we definitely have more than one laser, too. Look at how this thing is scanning it. Project Blue Beam.
Well, let me go on to the next topic, because this is going to be pretty cool. So remember that shot that we saw? So you all remember this shot, right? And when I used to talk about many, quite a while ago, that the JPL, and here's the website. I'll leave a link in the description box. New ultra-thin optical devices shape light in exotic new ways. Look at this light. Again, I've made videos before about the ultra-thin lenses and the lens array. Go back and watch my videos, but I will go into this again, that these are silicone nano pillars that twist and thicken or skinny out, get skinny and polarize light. And this JPL collaboration with NASA, someone's got to make the lens and somebody's got to put it up in space. Ultra thin lenses made of not glass instead of silicon nano pillars, honeycomb pattern to meta surface control the, pa the paths and property of passing light waves. Applications of these devices, I hope you're listening. But look at this key one here, displays. You guys all know what a display is, right? Your TV set that can, that can be mass produced in the same techniques, the manufacturing of computer chips. These flat lenses make robust images and a lot of stuff. They bend light by changing the density of the material that the light changes through, which bends light like a lens. <laughs> I don't want to bore you with too much science, but here's some more pictures of these failed lenses. No, it wouldn't take much for this complex system to fail, but look at that. It's just not scanning this sector of sky. It's pretty simple, really. Look at that. There is no... I'm gonna... Now, here's the sun, and we got this very strange light <laughs> I believe what we're looking at there is a convergence of the four lenses that form the X in front of the sky I've covered this topic but never seen it quite at this angle that's really cool Dave I want it very subtly it's kind of hard to show you but where my cursor is you can see like the convergence or the four lenses that are in front of the Sun simulator which is a whole nother topic, but you can go back and watch those videos. But this is just another angle of the lenses orbiting in the path of the sun simulator. Just keep watching this. It's pretty crazy. So, you know, I hope you all know what lens arrays are. <laughs> you know, here we got, you know, the, the lens flare, this green thing right here. But that, folks, this is a cell phone camera. Anybody takes pictures. Look at the light spiraling in front of this, too. I think you missed that shot. <clears throat> that was pretty epic. Some moths flying into a front of it, of course. So thanks, Dave, for that shot. And here we see a chemtrail plane frantically trying to hide the dark skies in front as the matrix continues to break down. Look at the angle of this thing. I mean, to me, it's part of the X that we see. The four lenses that converge in front of the lens form that giant X. It could have been the spiraling thing in front of it, but I think this is part of the lens system. And we see this light where light merges from two different converging sources, giving this what appears to be a plane of light. Thank you, Dave, for that. That was amazing. And this was brought to you by a subscriber, and I am so sorry uh, from a submitted video. But notice how the thing is, the, the camera is focused on the sun, so it fades out the, you know, the focus is on the sun light source itself or the sun simulator. <laughs> Just look at these. Look how dark it is here, and look at these ridiculous beams in front of it, okay? It's nothing to look like the sun. In fact, we start to see that X as well. Of course, that little shift that we saw is them just changing this is a time lapse when they changed the pers they wanted to follow the sun so they basically move the camera also notice look how the clouds like strangely disappear on this side and then strangely reappear over here as if the sun is behind the lens 
that's all by itself is very strange. It's part of the cloaking system. Again, they've got light and lenses, ultra thin lenses, thanks to JPL and NASA. I think that's uh, something ain't right with that, right? I think that's pretty cool. So let me show you the next one, the, uh, what kind of 3D or 7D technology is available. Check. Look at this. Touchable holograms. Right, this is inside of a mall. So what do you think they're going to be doing with Project Bluebeam with technology hundreds of years ahead of us? Well, this polar bear just gets up. Remember, this is just the surface of a mall. This thing looks like it's standing up. That's incredible. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you like this video. Please copy, like, and share, and have a blessed day.